Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and I'm back with a new short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto was the untamed attack dog of Konoha and yeah guys it's an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, I know it's another short movie and not only that, I was making Spidey's idea when I came up with this idea so I had to put it out first. I apologize my guy, you have been requesting that idea for quite a while now. so. Please kindly wait for a day more. I will be making it into a movie, not a short movie. I promise to you that much. And aside from that, if you haven't, then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. And without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins 10 years after the QB attack in Konoha Gakuren Sato. As it was night time, as we see in the shadows, some people were moving at high speeds. As they arrived at the heart of the village, which was known as the Hokage Tower. As there on the tower was waiting four people, one Hokage, Hiruzen Sarutobi, and three renowned elders, Danzo Shimura, Koharu, and Homura. As a kid, 10 years of age, landed in front of them, wearing Ganbo gear and a tiger mask on his face. Tiger. I presume your mission went well. Hi. Hokage-sama, said Tiger. It was a voice of a kid, devoid of any emotion. See, Hiruzen, I told you. If he was raised by me, Konoha will have an attack dog on its back and call. And see, what I have done is correct. And without any further ado, Hiruzen unsheathed this kunai and slid it down those neck as both elders were in shock. Naruto, stay there for a while. Hi, Hokage-sama. As Koharu and Homura were shocked, Danzo was killed just like that. Hiruzen, have you gone out of your mind? What have you done? You two have overstepped your boundaries, and so have Danzo. We created a perfect weapon for Konha. No, you created a perfect weapon for Danzo. For your own greed. I can see that. Naruto here deserved everything that a normal child should. He is the container of the QB. And so what? So was Kushina. So was Mito Uzumaki, the wife of your sensei. Do not forget about that, Koharu. Anbu, as many Anbu surrounded them, killed these two and make it look like it was accidental. As suddenly the whole Anbus charged upon them and killed them. As Hiruzen then looked at Naruto, follow me to my office, Naruto. As Hiruzen and Naruto arrived inside Hiruzen's office, as the door sealed close, you can take off your mask if you want to, Naruto. As Naruto took off his mask, was it necessary, GD? Naruto said with cold eyes. <sighs> as Hiruzen sighed, looking away from those eyes devoid of emotions, it is Naruto. I tried to protect you, but I couldn't. You were taken from me, remember? Flashback. Seven years ago. At the age of three, Naruto was a happy child like any other, capable of showing emotions and even showing happiness. And he was especially close to Hiruzen. And one fateful day, when his fourth birthday was closing near, Danzo ganged up on Hiruzen with the council members, all of them, even the shinobi side agreeing with Danzo on this one. To teach the ch child some of the best of the techniques in the shinobi world to make him strong and to protect himself. And not only that, to create a perfect soldier, soldier for Konha to use in dire situations. Many people thought that it would be best for Naruto and his future. So they agreed, but many people have their own agenda. And the three main culprits were already executed. End of the flashback. It's all right, Gigi. Naruto said was showing a little bit of smile. I'm still capable, somewhat at least. At least Kurumi-chan was able to keep me awake and keep his training and back and call. And I was able to maintain my emotions. I see. So it was QB who helped you out, huh? Yes, Gigi. I know it is so as mad as it is, but she was being manipulated by an Uchiha. 
To be more precise, Madra Uchiha, we know. The Uchiha's whole clan was wiped out, aside from one girl. Her name is Satsuki. She is currently under a lot of depression, and we want you to be her guard. <laughs> I was a tag dog of Konoha first, but now I'm going to be a tag dog of a girl? No, Naruto. He resents that with a frown. You're going to protect her from the shadows. Or if you want, I have a better yet idea. What? You can be in the academy and be close to her. Be her friend. But you have to show that you are an Uchiha. How is that possible? I don't have the sharing gun. As Kurumi-chan growled. I know where this is going, Naruto-kun. And where is that, Kurumi-chan? Naruto talked to the inner demon, demoness, with the thought of his voice. I don't like it one bit. As Hurizen brought out a jar, it contained two eyes. These are the eyes of Shisui Uchiha. We retreat from Danzo's hideout. They will be planted into your eyes. As Naruto's eyes widened, wait, then, <sighs> yes, Naruto. Your eyes will be preserved if you want to replace them. Later on, you can. No, Gigi. It's fine. I will use Shisui Nisan's eyes. But how did this happen? Why wasn't I informed of this? You were under training, remember? And that is when it happened. A few years back, when you were being prepared to be launched on your first mission as an attack dog. I see. Naruto said, gritting his teeth as his eyes turned to slits for a mere moment. <sighs> I shouldn't have given in to the temptation of trading more and kill that bastard when I had the chance. Wait, you had openings? Yes. Damn it, Naruto. I'm sorry, GD, but I had to be strong. I had to prove to Danzo that I was capable of being loyal to him before moving on with our next play phase of our plan, as we have discussed for the many years. I know. So are you going to do this then? Yes, I will. But I need my godmother for this. <sighs> Naruto, you know that she will not even blink an eye at you. She still blames you for Kushina's death. <laughs> well, too bad. She don't have any other choice. Give me the jar, GT. I will make my way towards her. I already have tracked her down. Due to my summons. Summon? <laughs> Danza was idiot enough to give me the Phoenix summon. Phoenix? But they were... Yes. Danza tried on multiple test subjects. They all failed. Ended up failing the test and being burned alive to crisp by the Phoenix. But due to Kurumi-chan, I was able to... Well, let's just say get an upper hand and pass the test and became their summoner. For a 10 year old Naruto, <laughs> you have changed a lot. Well, a lot of things have happened, GD, that caused me to change. I will be tracking Tsunade down regardless, so I'll be taking my leave. As Naruto wore his tiger mask, as he closed his eyes to open them, and for a mere second even Hiruzen was scared. There were red slits underneath those masks. I'm off, Naruto said with a devoid voice again, as he sentient out of there, as suddenly and Anbu trot by with a dog mask. I still am scared of what I just witnessed, Okagasama. I can't believe that three-year-old happy, happy-go-lucky child just turned into a cold, murderous killer like that. <laughs> all thanks to Danzo. Okagasama, permission to do a crackdown on all of those who are involved into this. The whole council was involved. Do you want to kill each and every one of them, Kakashi? If it satisfies my ego, then yes, I will, Hokage-sama, to be honest. You know that it is not necessary. We need these idiots, but we need to strip them of their power, mainly the civilian council who think that they can interfere in shinobi matters. Hmm, what do you want me to do? Gather the intel, as much as dirt as you can on them. Naruto has gone to visit Tsunade for a moment. He will be back sooner than later while we prepare for our preparations to attack the civilian council in the meantime. As Kakashi nodded, Hi, Okagasama, as your orders, as he vanished into a sunshin. As we go towards the outskirts of the land of fire, nearby a village that was known as a trading village, as Naruto arrived inside a room. In that room, we see a woman laying on a bed, sleeping. 
as suddenly her eyes open from the presence of someone. Talk. Who are you and what do you want? It's been a long time. God, mother. As Sonata's eyes widen, as she shot up from her bed, light lit in her room, as she saw what was in front of her, a ten-year-old with unbu mask and gear, as two red eyes were glaring holes at her from behind that mask, as Naruto dropped that mask as his eyes turned to blue, cold blue. It's been a long time, actually the second time I saw you. First one was when you slapped me and threw me out, when I was introduced to you. I'm sorry Naruto, I was just... <laughs> yeah, I don't need your apologies. I'm already over it. And you pretty much convinced everyone that you have no interest in keeping any ties to me. Well, I guess I don't care now anymore. As Narde felt sad and even more guilty at what she had done. So, why are you here? To get revenge? No. I want you to do something for me. And then we'll be even. Then I'll consider that you are even with my mother. You do not owe her anything. And she doesn't owe you anything. Not even an apology. And what is that? I want my eyes to be replaced by this. As he put the container in front of her. Sharingan. Why do you have those? She asked curiously and with narrowed eyes. And why do you want your eyes replaced? For a mission. Danzo somewhere requires this. Danzo? What do you mean? <laughs> After you left, the council in its all integrity decided that Danzo will be the most capable person of creating an attack dog for Konoha. No. Sensei, he was supposed to. Yeah, he was, but he couldn't because even the shinobi side joined on this whole... Brigid and look at me now <laughs> an attack dog an untamed one Well, if you're chatting this much then I guess then yes Donzo cannot tame me couldn't actually it was all an act. I'm going to turn him in soon So all I require for now is you to transplant my eyes as he says because these are the eyes of my Nissan She's free I see. I will perform the operation tomorrow. No, please. I'm in short of time. I need to report back to the village tomorrow. I have to go. I need this done as soon as possible. <sighs> Fine. Just lay down there. As Sonade begin to perform the operation then and there. Even with shaky hands, she was, well, doing a good job. And after it was done, she bandaged Naruto's eyes and started to use her healing chakra to heal them as fast as she could. It took one hour of doing that, so Naruto was completely healed. There, all done. Thanks. Y you're awake? <laughs> During the whole procedure. Wait, you? Yes, I'm immune to most of the toxins and sleeping agents. And I'm immune to pain as well. Went through a lot, actually. Physically and mentally. As Naruto undid the bandages of his eyes as he looked at the mirror that was there in the room. Instead of his eyes, they were black. There, let me help you. As they turned then blue, like his original ones, as Naruto's eyes widened. Wait, Kurumi-chan, what did you? Nothing, I just changed their color. I can, you know, tinker with your genetics a bit. Thanks, much appreciated. As Naruto then activated his Sharingan. Ugh, I hate those eyes. That is why I changed them from black to blue. It suits you much more. Aw, oh, thank you, Kurumi-chan. As Naruto then smirked, I looked back. Thanks, Sonata-sama. With this, our little endeavor is done. You do not owe me or know me anymore, and I could say the same for you. As Naruto then wore his mask and was about to leave after getting his container of his original eyes. Wait, Naruto. What? I'm sorry. Can't we, can't we start over, please? No, it's too late for that. Seven years too late. As Naruto disappeared into the darkness, as Naruto just sat there and sighed, as tears welled up in her eyes. Damn it, I need some drinks. As she called for Shizune then. As we go back to see that Naruto arrived back to the village within two hour spans of time because he was just an active shinobi as he was. 
After arriving there, he panted for a bit. We need to calm down, Naruto, said Kurumi. I can't. I have a mission, remember? You need rest, Naruto. One day of rest at least. But Danza didn't give me any. You're not working for that asshole anymore. He's dead, killed because of his own stupidity and actions. You're not their dog, Naruto. You're yourself. You're a human being too. You have your own emotions. Sometimes I wonder that was I able to save you from his clutches. Because you keep acting on impulse and as if you are a machine who's given orders and you have to just fulfill them. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll ask for a day off. As Naruto arrived at the Hokage office, as Hiruzen then said, Back already? As Naruto activated his sharing gun to show Hiruzen. Hmm, good one. So, tell me Naruto, how did your visit? Well, we are even now. And let's just say that we don't have to do anything with each other from now on and know each other in such manner. You seriously went and did this to her. She has been sending me letters on each of your birthday to ask me how have you been. It doesn't matter, GT. What she did to me back then. <laughs> well, you can say that. That kind of traumatized me at the moment. And I cried the whole night that day. Because I realized that the only fucking relative I had who was as close to as I considered a parent just pretty much just threw me out and said that they did not need me or they pr practically disowned me. So yeah, I apologize if I say so myself that I was being a dick, but I don't want anything to do with her. The only family I got here is you, Kurumi-chan, and that's it. And some of the Anbus, aside from you, and the Jiraku Fox. <laughs> yeah, you must include them as well, I guess. So, anything in particular you want me to do? Keep and hold on them, GT. They're my eyes. And I need a day off. Kurumi-chan says that I don't need to fulfill every mission at beck and call. Well, those are the standards of Anbus, but she is right. You need rest. You were just back from a mission and went on another escapade and just arrived back. You'll be going towards the Anwu headquarters, where you will be staying with Inu and Tora. Uh, okay. As Naruto arrived at Anbu headquarters, he knew where they were because of Danzo's, well, spying escapades. As he arrived there and after giving the note, he was brought in where his room was. You'll be staying here, said Inu. And Naruto, if you need anything, my room is next door. You can call. Yeah, Tacho can deal with anything. And if you need anything from me, you can call me. Thanks, both of you, Inosan and um, Torasan. But I'll be good. As after that, Naruto dropped his mask there and went to bed. And he slept for almost four hours and had the most dramatic nightmares again of being experimented on. The torture that he had to endure. Many bones broken and healed. As Kurumi then woke him up again. Naruto, wake up. You're only dreaming. As Naruto gasped and woke up. Shit. Again. As he saw him, his hand shaking. Fuck that damn bastard. It's because of him I'm like this. Naruto said. It's alright, Naruto. Everything is fine. It is over now. <sighs> Thank God it is. So what now, Kurumi-chan? You're going to go on a mission, remember? Yeah, I guess you're right. As Naruto then started to prepare in his civilian clothes, which were again an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> Can't believe I missed this color. Ugh. I don't like this, but it is the color of your fur. That is why I wanted to wear this, you know? As Krim blushed. Stop, you teaser. <laughs> Whatever you say, pretty fox. As after that, Naruto then went to the academy and reported there. As he sat next to Sasuke, Uchiha. You know, for an Uchiha, she is kind of pretty. I don't mind cheering if she is willing to. Wait, what? Nothing, nothing at all. Just talking to myself, Naruto. Just focus. Hey, I'm Naruto. I heard, said Sasuke. Uh, what? I heard at your introduction. Uh, okay. What's your name? Hmm. Hmm. That is kind of a weird name. I said my name is Satsuki. You didn't say anything. Shut up, will you? Uh, okay. Jeez. 
If you're gonna act like that, there'll be wrinkles soon appearing on your face. <laughs> Pretty girl. Narda said, as Satsuki then looked at Narda, what did you say? Uh, I was not lying, I mean you are pretty and all. As Kiba then chuckled, <laughs> he's so dead. As what happened next shocked all of the class. R really? As Satsuki blushed and looked away. <laughs> yeah, wait, what the fuck? When I said that, she literally punched my nuts. Because, ha, huh, Kiba, you were saying that be my maiden shit, man. What the hell is wrong with you? As after that, time started to fly by and Art assured everyone how strong he was. Well, for the first year, until he literally broke the bones of his opponent and his GD had to told him to restrain himself. So he did. Because this whole concept was new to him. But thanks to Kurumi-chan and her slyness, he was able to reply back to everyone with a smile on his face which was quite fake, to be honest. As we go and have a time skip of three more years. As Naruto was 13 years of age, as we see him laying on a bed in the Uchiha compound. As Naruto was introduced as Naruto and Uzumaki or Namikaze, but as an Uchiha who was found on the outskirts of the village. As we see him trying to get up but feeling weight on his chest. Looking down, he saw that Sasuke was sleeping again in his room, aside from her bed. Sasuke, wake up. We have to get to the academy. And why are you on my side of the bed again? You have your own bed, remember? Shut up, Dob. I am the heiress of the clan, remember? So just stay still and no talking. Body pillows don't talk. <sighs> she got the hots for you, you damn stud, said Kurumi. Ugh. Coming from you, who is quite thousands of years of old, hey, I'm still a little girl who's virgin from heart, remember? Uh, whatever, Kurumi chan. As Naruto then said these words and he got up, and so did Kurumi as she pouted. I can't believe you woke me up. During the three years, Kurumi and Naruto has gotten close because of their kinship, but not only that, because of Naruto and his antics, and he also trained Kurumi some bit as well in combat as well as in different styles. As the relationship between was growing, many people were concerned from the council. Well, the civilians one, because they did not knew the origins of Naruto, but they were sure that he was an Uchiha, which was fine for them because the new Uchihas will be produced, so they held back. As for Hiruzen, he was happy, because he knew just how much of our friends, both Fugaku and Minato as well as Mikoto and Kushina were. On the battlefield and off the battlefield. And the cherry on top was seeing that Naruto after 7 years of trauma getting along and reintroduced to society again. And hopefully not holding any grudge towards the council. Which was quite wrong because Naruto had now developed a tendency of pranking. Just like his mother. And a lot. Mainly aiming for those who have just screwed him over. Screwing ten, them 10 times over. And sometimes even while planting explosive taps in their warehouses where they kept their whole stuff for the shop and blowing them up. Hiruzen then held to scold Naruto for not doing this but Naruto then said he was just getting his revenge back and after that Naruto never did that again. As we go towards the Uchiha compound, Riverside, as Naruto and Satsuki were, well, practicing and sparring again, as Hatsuki then fell down again, panting, and while Naruto did not even break a sweat. How come you didn't even break a sweat? I guess I am that awesome, just. Naruto said with chuckle. Hm. Whatever you say, Dobe. But I'm your Dobe, aren't I? Yes, you are. So tell me, Satsuki. Naruto said, sitting down. What are you going to do after you become strong? What do you mean? Obviously, I'm going to kill that bastard. She said, getting serious. And they stole my clan. She said, beginning a blush. As Naruto then chuckled. I know that much, but why are you going to kill him? He said that he wanted to follow the path, follow me to follow the path of hatred and hate him. Don't hate him, Satsuki. How can I not, Naruto? He destroyed our clan. I know. But this is what he wants from you. You hate him, right? Then don't follow his words. Become your own person. Enjoy life. Have some people to rely on. They will help you gain the strength you need. 
but I have you. That is more than enough. <laughs> I know, Satsuki, but you need more than me. You need some friends. You need to mingle. And not stuck by me just because I'm an Ujiha. As Satsuki bought it. You're more than enough, you dummy. <laughs> As Narada then brought her close and then kissed her forehead where her Nissan used to poke her with four fingers. I guess that for now that will do. But for future you have to try. I guess I will. She said. As after that they went to bed and the next day came where we were when they had to go to academy. As we see them now walking towards the academy. End of the flashback. As Naruto and Satsuki arrived there. As they seated. And Satsuki was greeted by her friends Hinata Yuga. Sakura Harno, as well as Ino Yamanaka. As she greeted them and looked at Naruto, who was talking to Shikamaru and Choji, as suddenly Iruka came in and told them that today was going to be their final test, and if they pass, they will be advancing to become Ganins. And after the test was done, Naruto was surprised when he saw the test in front of him. These were four Anbus, so he broke the Genjutsu and did the test and looked at Mizuki suspiciously, who was smirking. Ah, got you, you fucker. As Naruto shot him with bloodlust of his. As Mizuki was locking eyes with him, Naruto's eyes turned to slits for a mere second. And within that second, huge amount of bloodlust was released on Mizuki. So much that he was on the knees, particularly foaming from his mouth. Wait, what? Wait, Mizuki, what happened to you? Class, as Rahul, the whole class started to laugh as Naruto smirked. <laughs> That'll teach him a lesson. Naruto, he has some snake on him. Scent of snakes. Rochimaru? Hmm, I think so. Damn it. Uh, Sensei, I'm done with the test. Why don't you stay here? I'll go bring him to the infirmary. Really, Naruto? Thank you, you're such a lifesaver. <laughs> I guess I am. Well, be sure to be back within hour or so because we are going to have to announce the teammates and then you'll be arriving the next day to know which are you going to be your sensei uh i see goodbye then everyone for the until tomorrow i told you you have to come back here within an hour or two to get your headband as well as to know which are your teammates naruto geez sensei fine <laughs> As Naruto brought Mizuki out of the academy and then ascended towards the Anbu headquarters. When Mizuki woke up, he was tied to the chair as a single light was glowing in a dark room. Talk, Naruto said as two red eyes opened. Why do I send Rochimaru's snake scent upon you? <laughs> there is no proof. Oh, we found proof, said another voice. It was Anko. <laughs> he had the same shitty mark as me. Congratulations, you just found your long lost sister, you piece of shit. You're not my sister, snake whore. As Naruto punched and literally broke the jaw and then healed him, sorry. Naruto said to the whole TNI department, not talk. What is your mission? I will not talk. Huh. Enjoy then, as Naruto charged a little bit of electricity in his hand and squinted both of his nipples and charged, discharged electricity as Mizuki was literally fried. Damn, that's a torturous way, as both males and females literally squirmed. Naruto did it himself. <laughs> now talk. I... Orochimaru wanted the scrolls of sealing. Just, just don't do that anymore. Ah, getting tired already? I was just starting. Man, you're such a boring lad, Mizuki. Damn it, I told you already what I was after. I was going to take the scroll and, and, and get the hell out of here. Hmm... I see. Just get away from you, said it, sadistic bastard, as Naruto kicked him and broke his jaw. There, now we're even. See? Done. You know, Brad, you could join the TNI in a blink of an eye with those methods of yours. Especially that nipple torture. <sighs> you must send ch ch children down my spine, said Ibiki. <laughs> Whoa, Ibiki Morino, the toughest bastard in the whole Anbu corpse. Feeling shivers run down his spine. <laughs> yeah, gotta be honest, kid. That was something mad shit you did. 
Well, I guess you can say that that is how Danzo treated those who were literally betraying him. Damn. What else you got under your belt? Uh, nothing, just that pretty much wiped out his entire on before it's before arriving at the scene when he was killed. Hmm. Lucky you, aren't you? Yep, lucky me. Well, you better get going. You only have half an hour before Iruka eats your ass. Oh my god. Thanks for reminding me, Uncle. I'll buy you some dongles. See you later, as Naruto dashed away. As Uncle chuckled. <laughs> yes. Got myself some dongles. Seriously, Uncle. What is your obsession with dongo? What is your obsession with Senbon in your teeth? Eh, touche. As you go towards Naruto, as he arrived within a mere minutes. Save! Naruto said. No, you idiot. You're not playing baseball. Just sit down there as everyone chuckled in the class. Where were you? Uh, Mizuki sensei took a lot longer to wake up. It turns out that he was bickering about something that required assistance. Naruto said as Mizuki Iruka got on with a shocked expression, which he composed himself. You will speak to me later on. As for now, as the teams were announced as in canon and the headbands were delivered. As everyone left, remaining Naruto and Satsuki there. Satsuki, wait for the boy outside of the gate, please. I have something to talk to him. Okay. No talk, Naruto. What was Mizuki up to that you said that he needed personal assistance? <sighs> Poor fucker was trying to steal the scroll of sealing for Orochimaru. What? That's... No, he just... Well... Practically explained himself to the TNI department. Where I brought him, actually. TNI? How do you know that? Remember the tiger, Anbu? That has been going around? That is pretty much a myth? Yeah. Well, I am that, Anbu. Wait, bullshit. <laughs> Ask away from Anko, she'll let you know. But please keep this identity between us already, I don't want to spill the beans. Fine, Naruto. I guess I get it. But seriously, Mizuki would- why would he do that? For power, Sensei, obviously. Power? That curse mark of his grants powers, but at what cost? What cost? Losing one's sanity. I've killed enough in my own hands. Saw them losing their minds and practically begging us to kill them because the pain was unbearable to them. That is why uncle restrains herself. But the side effects have been there. That's why she acts like a crazy snake ass. <sighs> I guess you're right then. See ya. Or oh, uncle said that meet her at the dango parlor. She and you had a date. Shit. I forgot. Thanks, Naruto. As Naruto dashed away and met with Satsuki. And they went back home. As far away in the night, we see that... Two figures were spying on Naruto and Satsuki, who were getting chummy and getting close. Oh, is Itachi getting jealous seeing his baby little sister with a boy? Hmm, said Itachi before murdering, vanishing in the murder of crows as he arrived somewhere else away from his partner as he smiled to get a closer view on both of them. Hmm. Good, Satsuki. You didn't take my advice and didn't follow the path of hatred. I'm happy for you. Thank you, Naruto. As he vanished again. Let's go. I found our target. He's living with my sister. Ah, getting personal, aren't we? Kasame, shut up. He said, showing him a sharing gun. <laughs> Alright, partner. Let's go and tell the friends of ours what we found. As the Kotsky were gathered in holographic form, as the whole coordinates were revealed to them. Are we really going to plan and perform this attack early on? It is our only option, that's to say that this will be the best time, because many of them are weakened. If we wait any longer to get them to make them stronger, it will only make hassle for us later on. That is correct. That is why I came up with a plan that we should strike them now, but their kids, said Conan. I know, Conan, but it is necessary. Yahiko was a kid, remember? And he sacrificed himself. Hmm, I remember. As... The flashbacks of when Yahiko died appeared in front of them as they shook their memories away. Enough. So when are we going to begin? Said a deep voice as a boss person appeared. Madara. As everyone felt tense because their real leader was here. Sooner than later, our plan shall begin. The five elemental nations shall fall and there will be no one there to stop us. As... After that, the holograms fell 
unknown to them it one person has heard this all as he was getting all the information through itachi <sighs> this is quite troublesome he said as he got back to konoha as fast as he could before even the missions began just to get what he wanted as we go towards the hokage office to see that jiraiya was there the gama sanin talking to his sensei who is sort of be i can't allow you to take him out now he's just becoming a ganin he's more than a ganin you have told me so he's an anbu he's got them tiger anbu that has been put under as an astrang threat by many villages already we need him why do you need me gama sanin narada said as he appeared behind both of them without getting noticed <laughs> you're good kid I'm your godfather and I'm just a fucking back. I know who you are and what you are. And what do you want from me? That is what I asked. Akatsuki, they're after you and many other Jinchurikis and they're going to strike Konoha in the Chunin exams this year. Hmm. Other Jinchurikis. Where where are they? I need location stat. Naruto, what are you thinking? <laughs> I'm going on a mission, Gigi. Me and Kurimi-chan are Wait, who's that? Sounds like a chick. She's the Nine Tails. Wait, what? You're tangling with that lady? Tam, Brad. And I thought I was crazy one. You haven't seen shit then, Jiraiya. Then please tell me where are the coordinates? I have tracked down almost all of them. Here. As Naruto got the gist of it. One Tails in Suna. Some of them with Eva. Some of them ran away. Some in Takigakure and some in kumo and the last one him all right that's the gist of it i'll get going now i'll be back within one week or so what are you going to do warn them and make them be ready and after that i'll be heading tracking down the akatsuki members because if they're going to attack us in chunin exams which is one month away from here then we have to move fast as Naruto then dashed as fast as he could first towards Suna as he was right when he arrived there a 13 year old boy was fighting for his life from both sides one side was his own village and the other side was the two Akatsuki members as Naruto arrived there as he saw that Yushikaku was released as the whole side started to restrain it let's see how he handled two beaches as a huge fox appeared The original Kurumi appeared in Nine Tail Fox State. What is Nine Tails doing here? Shit! As both Deida and Sasori were murdered with two huge Bijudamas alongside most of the Suna populace Shinobi army, as Tamari and Konkuro were the only ones alive, besides the whole village, as they dashed towards their brother who was unconscious, as Shikaku formed a chibi form, as did Kyuubi. As Naruto was standing there in an anbu gear. You're from Konoha. Why did you? I did this because I am here to protect your brother. You destroyed our village. <laughs> so much for mistaking me for saving your brother's ass. Those people were literally going to kill him. Hand him over to these people. What kind of siblings are you if you are going to agree to him? You don't deserve him. Naruto said as Gara woke up. It is as my savior said. You said so yourself, Konkuro, that I would have been better dead if I wasn't born. As Konkuro then looked down, I'm sorry, okay? I wasn't thinking straight. But you said so. As then Shikaku spoke, <laughs> him and me are different beings. I tormented the poor kid because of my own sick twisted schemes. And you know what? Even I felt pity when you abandoned him. As after the little spat Naruto disappeared he continued this on until he tracked down many of the other Jin- Churikis and them fighting on some of them he was at least too late well they were injured but he made sure some of them he had to save from Akatsuki's clutches himself but he was sure that only a little bit of Akatsuki members were left he was able to track down their base and send them the location back to his village and to their villages as well As all the five nations raided their whole village and destroyed it, the whole village was in shambles, and Amegakure was no more. Naruto and his whole plan was successful as he obliterated the main 
reason for all his sorrows, the Akatsuki and the Moss person included. And Naruto saved Itachi Uchiha for certain someone as he brought her in front of her doorsteps. As Sasuke was surprised when Naruto revealed his Anbu mask and showed who he was. T tiger? Y your tiger? Yes. I'm, I apologize, I hid this from you, Sasuke. Here. He's here. Ask him why he did this stuff. As after asking him, it was revealed that it was Donzo. Always was that bastard. And it pinned the blame on Itachi. Even after hanging himself into Itachi. When Itachi arrived there to save his parents and killing off his, well, clone. That is when Satsuki arrived there. At perfect timing. He had to retreat back. And the people blamed him since then. As after that Satsuki hugged her knees on. And then Naruto. Blonging him on the head. Naruto just arrived after the war. And a good one. Orochimaru heard of this. That... Well, Tiger was confirmed from Konoha, and he was also a young one who has screwed his plans of stealing the Scroll of Sealing. And his next target was him, painted on his back, aiming for his bullseye. So, he was going into hiding. And that continued for almost five more years when Naruto was grown up and hunted down Orochimaru like a mammal and dealt with him after killing him and saving the rest of those who were there in pain but those who he couldn't he had to kill them after doing so he completed his job at the end of the day he was an untamed animal that Danza created a tool of disposal he thought <laughs> what a pity as Naruto even got as far as to become the Kage of the village and becoming the leader of all of them what Konoha wanted to create came back to bite them at the end and even overpowered them, trampling their ego and gaining control over them. The ultimate victory in Naruto's eyes and Kurumi Jan's eyes. Well, that was until Naruto married Satsuki first and then Kurumi. She was quite jealous but at the end of the day it was all good. And Kurumi even had a now bodily form thanks to Naruto, well, giving her one and she was free. And even had some of her own kids thanks to her whole gender and all stuff. And so did Sotsky. Naruto was happy. And so was everyone else. As the whole elemental nation was at peace. For now at least. Because Akart or Suzuki's were still lurking out there. In the shadows. Waiting for their chance. Which they never will get more precisely. At least. Not until many years to come. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys. I hope you liked this one. And if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel. As this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace.